The Grand National Meeting will kick off then with the three mile Liverpool hurdle. And it's a three mile grade one. And at the top we've got Cottage Wine for Craig Beckwith, Dance of the Animals, Joshua Sutherland, Dreaming Mist, Leon van Rensburg, full speed ahead, John Morgan, third last, Graham Clutterbuck, You Were Exile, Vinnie Gerard, Zaru Zeus, Padre Gogan, Dance Around the Stars, Joshua Sutherland, Extreme Consequences, Leon van Rensburg, Gadebridge, Darren Thompson, Rebel Run, Padre Hogan, Rose Tree, David Hooley, and Sharona for David Robertson. Make up your field of 13. All this. Liverpool hurdle and away and racing a very short run to the first off 13 flights of hurdles which they all get over safely and head towards the second and it's Dance of the Animals who's going to lead them into the second with My Sharona close up on the inside I said pretty tightly grouped Zaru Zeus is the one who's widest on the track and I need to tuck in before the turn as they pass the winning post two complete circuits of this tight entry track to go and more suited to the speedsters this meeting than last week's Cheltenham, so I don't expect the form to necessarily hold up a different type of horse needed for this course to what we had last week. And Dance of the Animals is three or four lengths clear of full speed ahead in second. Sharona is in third, and Rose Tree fourth. This track much flatter and more suited to the speedsters. And Dance of the Animals is four lengths clear of full speed ahead in second. Sharona in third. And then Rose Tree back in fourth, Dance Around the Stars is next, then third last, tucked on its inside, already been scrubbed along Cottage Wine, and towards the back, Zaru's use, he's already in last place, having been widest on the turn. And he's still running wider than all the others as they take the second. A long time to get to it, but they're all safely over it. And Dance of the Animals continues to show the way for Joshua Sutherland. There's quite a few clear. Of Leon going into the final three weeks of the season, so pretty much got the title wrapped up, barring a miracle. I would have thought last week's winner, Gade Bridge, is now the back mark of the only grey in the field as they get to the fourth. And they're all safely over that one. With Dance of the Animals showing the way to full speed ahead, who's in second. Sharona close up in third. That one cut out the runner, I think, last week. Then comes Rose Tree, then Cottage Wine, who's now going well enough. Then Dance Around the Stars is next. Extreme Consequences after that with third last and Rebel Run. And then Dreaming Mist. With Zara's Yushim Rex on Gadebridge making up the field as they get over the fifth. And they're all safely over that one. Dance of the Animals. Making sure that this is going to be a proper test of stamina. And leads by four. Possibly five lengths to full speed ahead. He's getting a little bit closer in second. Then Sharon on the inside of Rose Tree with Dance Around the Stars and Cottage Wine. And just tucked in behind him. Dreaming Mist is now making a forward move. So to Zara Zeus on the outside. A mistake by that one. Stable companion Rebel Run has seen it drop to the back over that last flight. And over number seven they go. And also for the over seven. We're not past the screen, not past the straight again now. Another little jaunt past the tray, then the water jump on the Grand National, the winning post, and then out for one more complete circuit of this entry track. And Dance of the Animals is leading by about three lengths to full speed ahead in second. And Dreaming Mist has now moved through into third. Cottage Wine is fourth. Sharona on the inside is fifth. Then comes Dance Around the Stars and Zara is use with Rose Tree and third last next. Extreme Consequences is trying to sneak up the inside. Gadebridge is trying to get a little bit closer in Humor Exile. And Rebel Run continue to be the back two. As they head off down the back. To the furthest point away from the stands that they get in this race. And Dance of the Animals is in the lead. But only by two lengths now as Sharona has started to... Make a forward move in second, full steam ahead of just drop back into third. Then the Leon van Rensburg pair together, Dreaming Mist and Extreme Consequences both going well. Cottage Wine is next. Then Rose Tree getting a little bit closer as they jump the eighth. Really good jump there by Cottage Wine. Saw it jump past the van Rensburg pair. But Sharona's now come to join Dance of the Animals and take a share of the lead as they race down towards flight nine. And over that one, the leaders landed together. Bit of a mistake by full speed ahead. 
who saw that one drop back a little bit but he's driven back up into third rose tree the purple jackets making some ground now as well as they get over the 10th they've got three more flights to take then and they're starting this turn and sharona has taken it up by about a length to Dance of the Animals in second. Full speed ahead is two lengths back in third. Then comes Dreaming Mist and Extreme Consequences with Rose Exile behind them. Yuma Tree has made some good ground from the back. So to third last as they get over to third last. And Dance of the Animals has regained the lead. But look at this Extreme Consequences starting to cruise in third. Was a hot pot earlier in the season. Lost its form in recent weeks. Can it get back to its best? It's Sharona who's in the lead though with Extreme Consequences now Coming through in a second. Dance of the Animals now under pressure. Full speed ahead. Come with on. Here comes the Grey Gate Bridge. Yuma Tree on Urex on, on the outside. He's also trying to come through. Difficult to see anything else getting into it. Although Cottage Wine is still trying to run on. They've only got two more to take. And Extreme Consequences has gone into the lead. Over to second last. Extreme Consequences from Dance of the Animals who's trying to fight back but Extreme Consequences appears to be enjoying this flatter track racing down towards the final flight Extreme Consequences over to the lead Sharona now throwing down a big challenge on the inside though Extreme Consequences idling under pressure Extreme Consequences holding on from Sharona Extreme Consequences needs that line to come Sharona is getting closer with every stride Extreme Consequences continues to idle and Sharona is getting close up towards the line it's going to be on the nod as they flash past the post Sharona and Extreme Consequences sure what the angle's like here but I got one terribly wrong last week or well, somebody did and I think Sharona's got up you know that'll be a major surprise because she was last last week shows you the difference in the course and indeed she did Sharona for David Robertson takes it extreme consequences for Leon van Rensburg didn't find anything under pressure really look all over the winner jumping the last full speed ahead John Morgan was third Dancer the Animals Joshua Sullivan was fourth and Cottage Wine for Craig Beckwith was fifth